big part of the way that I work is experimentation, and I, I'm very, um, I like a, a very first-hand experience with the material that, that I'm working with, and so I tend to work in a way that doesn't so much rely on glaze formulas that are out there or clay formulas that are out there or the numerous things that are out in the world, especially now, that, that are just so accessible and, uh, and the proliferation of uh, you know, commercial glazes and clays and um, all kinds of uh, design tools now. I, I, I tend to step back from all that, that stuff and a lot more of that exists now than when I started uh, working in clay, but I like to just try to get a sense of the materials themselves and, and what I want to do with it. And so I work very intuitively with that as, as well. And I generally formulate, you know, all kinds of slips and glazes and um, overglaze and underglaze. And I tend to use mostly, I tend to use commercial clays mostly I do use a lot of indigenous clays, and I use them for specific reasons, but I don't try to, you know, produce any kind of volume with indigenous clays. Okay, I'm going to take a fired piece of porcelain. It's been glaze fired. This is a standard ceramic. You can see this jumping off the plate. It's the reaction. And I like to do these sort of dark landscapes. So I'm using a ball slip and the dendritic tea on an already fired porcelain dish. 